Patrice in Montreal, Quebec. Beautiful city. Except in the winter, it's cold and nasty. Ooh, but a beautiful city. Since speaker crossovers usually contain electrolytic capacitors, would aged capacitors shift the crossover frequency? Would you hear this change? And what would change in the sound quality so we can tell it's time to risk opening the speakers and changing the capacitors? Well, first off, as an answer to your question, as capacitors age, especially electrolytics, they change the value of their capacitance. And it always goes in one direction, <laughs> less, right? So if you have 500 microfarads of capacitance, over time, that's going to go down to 300 microfarads. Or, you know, I'm just pulling numbers out of the air here. But they can degrade over time rather significantly. And depending on where this electrolytic is, it is going to rather dramatically change the frequency response of your loudspeaker. And of course, crossovers, if we remember, crossovers are the frequency dividing networks that tell the woofer how high to go, the mid-range how low and how high to go, and the tweeter how low it can go. And the combination of those, if you have a good designer like our own Chris Brunhaver, you spend hundreds and hundreds of hours carefully tweaking every single value in that crossover to get this to sound the way a pair of FR30s or a pair of FR20s or the new FR10s sound. I mean, I would say, well, of course, drivers are very important. That's why Chris designs all his own drivers. But once that's said, the magic of speakers is 100% in the skill of the designer to design the crossover. And as long as the components in that crossover remain at their designed, their specified value, life's good. As it ages, that's going to change. Not so much for film caps, and I don't even know if we have any electrolytics in these at all. We mostly just use film caps, but a lot of speakers do. And a lot of lower cost speakers do. Most lower cost speakers use a lot of electrolytics. You can expect a good 10 to 20 years out of a, an electrolytic. So I don't think I would be messing around with a pair of speakers if, if they were only 10 years old. They start to get up to 15 or 20 years. You might want to have a look and see. And unfortunately, the only real way to do it is to get a capacitance meter and measure it. Look at the value of the capacitor on the case and then measure it and see how close it is. They're not that hard to, to replace and it's not that expensive to replace. But anyway, hope that helps. Hope that answers your question. Thanks for asking it. Talk to you later.